Welcome to Local SEO Tactics, where we bring you tips and tricks to get found online. I am producer Caleb Baumgartner, here today with a new episode with great information for improving your search engine ranking. Jesse takes it solo today to explain some great practices for developing backlinks for your GMB. Do you have any questions for our team? Visit us at localseotactics.com forward slash questions to ask what's on your mind. Thanks for listening and enjoy the show. Welcome back to Local SEO Tactics, where we bring you tips and tricks to get found online. I'm your host, Jesse Dolan, here with a solo episode for you today. And we're going to be talking about one of our favorite topics, which is, of course, Google My Business, otherwise known as the GMB. Uh, before we get into that, I want to mention everybody, check out our free instant SEO audit tool. Uh, if you've listened to a number of our shows, uh, most often we, we mention this in there, uh, but I'm going to plug it again for anybody who hasn't checked it out yet. Or if you have used it before and yet yeah, it's been a while, uh, go on out there, check it out now, see if your score has changed. Maybe there's something that you need to uh, check up on that you've been uh, lacking in, or maybe the competition outflanked you, whatever the case. Uh, it's a great tool, totally free. Go to localseotactics.com, top right corner, click on the yellow button that says free SEO audit, and it's going to uh, take a peek under the hoodie website, give you a punch list of things to do, uh, overall score in various areas, and uh, make it real easy uh, to get started on the SEO that you need for your website. Totally free. Use it as often as you want. Uh, so check that out. That's for your website, right? So today in this episode here, we're going to be talking about some strategies uh, for your Google My Business Listing, your GMB. And what we're going to be talking about is uh, getting backlinks for your GMB. Um, not in any kind of a black hat way. We're not going to buy backlinks, none of that. Um, I, again, if you've been listening to the show, you know we do things kind of in the white hat way, the organic way, and a fairly safe way. Um, but one of the areas that kind of gets overlooked often is building a link to your Google My Business listing. Google loves that. Google loves these kind of signals, these kind of um, connecting of the dots, if you will. And if you're trying to be found locally uh, for the products and services that you offer, your Google My Business listing is a huge part of that. So uh, one of the ways to kind of power that up and give it some juice is to make sure you're linking not just to your website, but also to your Google My Business listing. Um, if you don't have a Google My Business listing, we, we talk about the GMB extensively um, every few episodes. Um, Let's see here, we've got like our first couple episodes where how to set up a GMB, like episode one and two. Uh, we've talked about uh, what is the Google Map Pack, which is where your GMB shows up. That was episode 29. Um, that'd be a good one to check out if you're kind of uh, new to this. Uh, getting more reviews, episode 41. I'm just kind of flipping through our archive here. Uh, episode 41, get more reviews in your GMB. That was a really good one. Super important strategies uh, for getting some reviews. Uh, setting up your initial posting strategy, um, not just to push posts out there, but for SEO related reasons. Uh, that's episode 42. Uh, you get the idea. Uh, visit the uh, the show pages there. Just do a search in the sidebar and you'll get tons of GMB related episodes. Uh, so for this one, we're going to leverage um, one of the one of the topics you can leverage, I should say, is looks like episode 104 that we just dropped uh, was talking about like Google stacks and how to leverage those. Uh, the concept there was linking back to your website, but also um, if you listen through that episode, just think about, you can do the same thing with your Google My Business listing, right? Um, first things first is how to get a link to your Google My Business listing. And so let me, I'll share my screen quick. So those of you on YouTube, or if you're listening on audio, maybe switch over to YouTube and you can check this out. I'll just show real quick how to grab the link for your GMB just in case you don't know how to do it. So I just did a search here for Intrix SEO. Um, you can see here on the right hand side of the knowledge panel. Um, this is our Google My Business slash knowledge panel uh, slash business listing. So just type in the name of your business and then click maps or you can start your search from maps, but I'm just went to google.com here, click maps. And then right here up at the top, um, assuming that your business still shows up right here. If not, click on your business first, uh, but click this button share. And then you can just copy this link. Okay, so it's super simple. Uh, that's the link that we're gonna be getting backlinks to. I'm gonna stop the share just so you guys can kind of see that quick. And what you're gonna do is again, if you're gonna leverage the Google Stacks um, from episode 104, check that out and you can use that link uh, where necessary. Uh, some other areas that we're gonna talk about real quick um, are like YouTube, right? So if you're pushing content out on YouTube, uh, that's one real easy way. You don't have to do this on every single YouTube video, right? Or every single you know bit in your stack. 
uh, but mix in links to your Google My Business listing. Uh, if you publish a YouTube episode, you can go ahead and uh, drop a link to your GMB uh, in the description of that. Uh, if you're doing blog posts from your website, uh, you can push out links to your GMB. Um, if you're doing posting within your GMB, of course, you can link to your, your GMB to share it. Um, another easy way is on social media. Now, whether you're talking Twitter or Facebook or, or Instagram or, or whatever it is, uh, again, just linking back to your GMB in any of those areas is going to help as well. I'm definitely here not talking about uh, going out and creating like PBNs or buying backlinks or, or things like that. Uh, but just wherever you're naturally getting links for your website right now, uh, try to mix in and get those links for your GMB as well. Um, another way that you can definitely leverage the links for your GMB is to do some press releases. Uh, if you do a quick Google search, there's going to be a bunch of resources. Uh, some of this you can manually do yourself. Uh, some of them are going to be paid services, um, but you can do press releases and link back to your Google My Business listing uh, for that as well. And uh, last but not least, so if you have a GMB and a website, um, I wouldn't necessarily go in and like link my Yelp profile to my GMB listing, right? I would still link that to the website. Um, so don't go like everywhere in the stacks. Don't go everywhere in the, uh, the web 2.0s um, and, and just change everything over to your GMB uh, for linking. That's not what we're talking about here. Um, still keep your website as your primary and, and leverage that, but you can use some of those, those same tactics to spread some of that love and give some of that link juice, if you will, whatever you want to call it, um, over to your Google My Business listing. So um, don't delay on that. Uh, that's going to be something to help you kind of power up your GMB, get a little more exposure there. And uh, kind of a short uh, episode, uh, but just a real quick trick for you all out there, uh, something that kind of gets overlooked sometimes. So hopefully that helps you out. Uh, I'm going to read our five-star review here for this episode. Anybody who uh, is getting some value out of this stuff, if, if these things are helping you, we'd love to hear that. Um, you can kind of uh, do us a favor back by going and leaving a review for us. Go to localseotactics.com, scroll down to the bottom, click on the button for reviews, whether you want to go to Apple iTunes, um, I, actually, I'm sorry, Apple Podcasts now, uh, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, wherever it is, Spotify, uh, Facebook, GMB, wherever you want to leave us a review, we would love to hear it. And uh, of course, as you know, by now, uh, we'll read them on the show and give you a shout out for every review. Do one pretty much every episode. Here we have a great five star review from Meanit, web design agency in Donegal and Dublin. Uh, so from Ireland says, as a web design agency, Meanit team members all spend a lot of time giving advice on SEO to clients. Now that we found your podcast, we will share it with our clients to help them learn themselves. Great tips and advice. Most of all, well done on the effort involved in doing the podcast so consistently. Keep up the good work and know that it is appreciated. Uh, thanks. I am very happy that it is appreciated and happy that um, you're giving us a little bit of credit towards the consistency, although we've been up and down a little bit at times. Uh, it has been uh, a number of years and we're up to episode, well, we're past 100, right? So uh, thanks for the good um, five-star review there. We really do appreciate it. And like I said, everybody else, we'd love to hear from you as well. Uh, I also want to mention, like we do on some of the episodes with Sue Ginsburg, if you have a question or a topic that you want us to address, uh, you can also go out to localizertactics.com, down in the bottom left corner, click on the button uh, for questions to submit your question, or uh, we are going to have Terry Samuels coming up on another episode to talk deeper about uh, some more advanced schema tactics. You can go on at the localseotactics.com slash schema, and if you want any uh, uh, advice from Terry, any questions, things like that, uh, we'd love to hear what you want to talk about there and uh, what he can address for you as well. Uh, so hopefully that helps you guys and gals all out. Um, appreciate you checking out this episode, and we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.